smart and special person. I can do anything if I try. My promise, each day I'll do my best. And I won't do any less. I'll color very carefully. My writing will be neat. And I simply won't be happy till my papers are complete. And I won't forget my promise to do my very best. Yes! The word of the day. The word of the day. Let's see what the word of the day is. Cannot. Oh, cannot. I cannot jump out of an airplane. Oh my God. I cannot do that. Who has one? Sasha? You cannot write in cursive yet, right? Because you're going to learn that. In fact, guys, next year in second grade, y'all are going to start writing in cursive. Jalisa. I cannot jump off a roof. Oh, yep. my God. No, I don't want you to. One more, one more. Caleb? Uh, I cannot go back in time. Excellent. Do you still have your paper? Do you still remember? Eric, what letter did y'all have? Hi, guys. Hmm? Eric and Adam, y'all are together. Latasha and Jacqueline. Jessica and Crystal. Ashley and Monique and them. Okay. Now, y'all all have your letter of the alphabet that we're going to work on, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to go through a process. We're going to brainstorm our words that we're going to use. We're going to plan it out on paper, draw it, before we get to the computer. Because when y'all get to the computer, since we have limited computers, I want you to be able to go over there and use your time wisely. But we're hoping that by putting this alphabet book together, we'll have it on the computer. And we want the rest of the school, especially the pre-K kids, kindergarten, and first grade, we're really learning the alphabet and learning words. And we hope that they can use this book that we make off the computer. We want this to be used throughout the school. Yes, Jessica? With the letter that we're using, do we talk about the school with it? Exactly. Like All the letters the have to do with heart. Jessica and Crystal are going to work on the letter B. I'm going to give them paper, a sheet of paper, and they're just going to list down the down the paper, all the words they can think of that start with B that have to do with heart and our school. Let's think. Brain. Brain. Okay. So if I write that down, they would just write the word brain. Okay. What does that have to do with our school? Who know knows? How we Remember? Need a thing. Remember our hands, guys. Eric. Because we need to think when, when um, to read. You need to think when you read. And what do you use? Right. And you use your brain. Any more? Is that the only word we can think of for this letter? Who else? Camera. Banana. Okay, banana. Why banana? Because it starts with the B. Kelvin, can you think of another B word? Boy. Kelvin, why boy? Because there's a lot of boys at the school. You better believe it. There's a lot of boys. I want y'all to think of as many as you can. At least ten. Let's try to get ten because we're going to choose from these which ones we're going to draw. Robbie. Breakfast. Breakfast. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why breakfast, Robbie? Because you eat yeah. breakfast and that helps you think and make you work harder. Your word for B? Miss Binnaker. Why Miss Binnaker? Because she's my teacher. She's your teacher <laughs> and it starts with a V. Excellent. Anybody else have another letter? Let's see. Okay, Monique and Elizabeth have R. Okay, so let me see if I change the sheet. Let's start brainstorming a list for R. They're going to get their paper, start writing those words. Let's help them. Let's get them started. R. What can you think of? Jacqueline. Rabbit. What, sweetie? Rabbit. Okay. Adam would write down overhead. And guys, don't worry about the spelling. If you don't think you know how to spell that word, it's okay because we're just writing a list. Kelvin. Octagon. Octagon. What's special about octagon and what does that have to do with our school? Um, whenever we learn about shapes at school. That's one of the shapes we learn. So do you all understand? I want you all to go back to your seats and really think about heart. And if you need to, guys, look around the room. Pick one person to be the recorder. It might be better for the fifth grader to be the recorder. 
door. What? Do we have rocks at the school? Yes. Where? At the playground. Okay. How are y'all doing? What else can we think of start with a B? On Dubai. Starts with a D. Miss Odom. Was that one? And what else? What else can you think of? Vegetarian. It's in our school, though, isn't it? No. Yes, it is. It's part of our school. It's outside. The outside is part of our school. No, but. Rockets? Yes. Oh, yeah. Rockets? Oh, board. Um, let's, let's make it board. Okay. What board? That one. Well, Miss Rich is behind Miss Rich. The ones that are on the board. Oh. Pebble Brown. Oh, yeah, I have a color. <laughs> Y'all have done a great job brainstorming your list of words to do with the alphabet. We're ready to go to the next part. When you're ready, raise your hand, I'll come to you, and then we'll decide together what are the three words you're going to use in your alphabet page. And think of the three words that you can best draw a picture of on the paper as well as on the computer. When you get your paper, guys, this is what we're going to do. You're going to fold it in half and fold it in half again. When you open it up, how many squares are you going to have? Four. Now we have three words. That leaves one square empty. What do you think we're going to put in that last square? Terrence? Maybe write our name and write a quick sentence about all the things that we wrote and drew. Excellent idea. Okay, because we want this to have some reading on there. So on one of the squares, guys, you need you and your partner, you and your buddy need to come up with a sentence that uses all three words. You remember how to do it, right, Cal? Yeah. All right. Did you guys decide on which words you're going to draw? Yeah. Which ones? We're going to do Miss Valdez. Okay, why are you doing Miss Valdez? Miss Valdez because she's a special lady in our school and she helps us. And we're doing Voyager Hall. Okay, so why, are we, why are we doing Voyager Hall? Because they're always called Voyager Hall. We could draw all these like poles and this up leg. Uh -huh. And make classrooms like what, like, like draw whole, like, like like draw gaps, so so when the two classrooms fit together. Which letter are you gonna do first? Mm. Um, we're gonna do. Which one do you wanna do? M. M. Okay. So which words do you think you can draw the best? The map. The map. Okay. Why map? And music, because some people don't really notice where Hart Elementary is, okay. so we drew a map. Why is music important, Jacqueline? Because we got music at school. We sure do. Um. You, want, you want to erase the ball? We can draw a little more. You won't have to erase the whole person. <laughs> can you help me, please? Some of y'all are ready to go to the computer. I want as much drawing as possible using the pencil tool, actually using the shape tools, changing colors. I want y'all to do that using Kid Picks. Monique and Elizabeth, why don't y'all go to the first computer? Clanisha and Bridget, why don't y'all go to the second computer? Adam and Eric, that third computer. Remember, let the first graders have some of the controls because they can do those, and you spell it out. All right, wait, 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 wait. All right, Caleb, get a square. Click to the square. Push down. No. No, let it go, let it go. Okay. Hey, come here, pink orange. No, 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 you know, that's too right. Pick a dark color. And put a bow. What, what is this right here, Kale? Um, the vice president. And what is this? Who is this? Valdez. And click look. 
met Henny Penny and Henny Penny met Chicken Licken and the sky has fallen on her poor little head. Do you think the learning, the teacher teaching her students looks good? Um, 5 plus 16. Yeah. You made it look good. You want to read this story? Yeah, I read that book when I was in first grade. I like that book. That's good. Kayla, do you think Ms. Valdez needs a little bit more hair? Yeah. All right, let's, how about you make more hair? Hold up. Right here. In green. Yeah, go to black. Do you think she we should connect her body to her neck? Yeah. How do we do that? With that? I'm trying to get this black blob stuff like we had last time. If it keeps on going white. Oh, there it goes. Um, what are you fixing to draw? I take, I'm, I'm going to draw some other people. Yeah, uh, some other people, like, just looking at her? Or do you want them facing the other way, like, talking to each other to try to figure out the math problem? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think that we should. You can, like, while they're drawing, like, while they're right there, you can, like, draw their hands right there and then... Right? Draw a piece of paper right there. You can draw the cafeteria. See? Finder, bookshelf. In Hunt Elementary Library, there are lots of bookshelves with books and finders on it. That's right. And what is this supposed to say? Delete, uh, delete, delete. About all three of these pictures. We walk in the door and door, sit at our desk and study the vision. What, what else do you think we did good on? Everything. The words, the vice president stand, as valid as Voyager Hall. We did a pretty good job. Okay, yeah, we did. We really did. We're going to look at the final product. Ms. Binnaker and I took all your pictures that you made and we made it into a book. We're going to try to put it on the computer for everybody in the school to use. So they're going to be looking at your work. What does it say right here? Bye, Ms. Binnaker's and Ms. Rich's Reading Buddies. Now see the little button, I'm going to punch it, and we're going to go into... This is kind of like a table of contents page. It's got all the letters on there, the ABCs of Heart Elementary menu, and it says click on the letter you want to see and read. Let's go to the letter V. Calvin and Caleb, can y'all get up there? Oh, look at Miss Valadez. At Heart Elementary, we have the best hall called Voyager Hall, a vice president mm -hmm. principal, vice president principal named Miss Valdez, a vice president of student, student council. council at G gives gives speeches. Thank you. Isn't that good great drawing, guys? What do you like about this? That door. The door? That door. It's showing Voyager Hall. Anything Whose room is that? Yours. How about Miss Valadez? A hair. Jessica? The lines that they used to part it. That was clever. Which do you remember what tool you used on KidPix to do that? The pencil. The pencil tool? Yours. At High Elementary, Girls. we read the chat. Read, use rulers, and best of all, have clean, clean restrooms. Kelvin? They made the hair <coughs> look good. Yeah, I like the way they did hair too. It's with that little paintbrush, and it has little circles, and you could just pick the color. Oh, how cool! 
I like the way that they drew the ruler. <laughs> they did do a good job on the ruler, didn't they? I know. At Heart Elementary, you will see colors, cubbies, and chalkboard. Did they do a good job, guys? Yeah. Look at the chalkboard. <laughs> Y'all see the writing on the chalkboard? Yeah. And our cubbies where we put things? Good job. At Heart Elementary, the kids played kickball, and they have a great librarian named Miss Kennedy Smith. Excellent. Um, how did y'all do those drawings? Those are wonderful. I do the girl. Most of them, we use the lines, the line, the line tool, the pencil tool. Yeah. <coughs> and the paint thing, mm -hmm. where we we um cut in the heads, and we use the um the line that when you draw it comes out to different colors for the outline of that dress. Let's go to another letter. The words that begin with the letter L. At heart, we learn we go to the lunchroom to eat, and we, we go to the, the library. Excellent. Does anybody uh, want to share what they like about this picture that Terrence and Robbie did? Okay. Clanisha. The one with the teacher. Why do you like the one with the teacher? Because it, it, they got the chalkboard on there. Lunch. What, why do you like the lunch? Because all the coloring is good. <coughs> Robbie and Terrence, can I ask you all a question? What is that a picture about lunch? It's like the, the table and the, like, the stage. And the colorful things are just the seats. You, you know what? Like, look at the, do you like the library? I, I love the library. Why, why are there all those colors? Those are the books. We're done with our project. Isn't it great? Yes. yes. First graders, we need to say thank you to our fifth grade buddies for helping us with this. Thank you. Thank you, Crystal. Okay. Thank you, Crystal. Does anybody want to share what they really liked about working together? Robbie. What about Robbie? <laughs> Is he a good partner to work with? Yeah. Why? Because he likes to do stuff like with me and we have something in common some stuff in common that we like to do to, together and stuff like that. What's, what's one thing y'all have in common that y'all like? We like to draw. Y'all like to draw. And y'all were awesome drawers. Monique's fun to work with. Mm -hmm. How is she fun to work with? She listened to me. She helped me. She didn't just sit there and watch me do it. <laughs> Can any first grader tell me what's something they learned new on the computer that their fifth grade buddy taught them? Um, learn how to spell. He taught me how to, like, save it under my name. Mm -hmm. From looking at that picture, I, he taught me how to draw what he draw. Um, one thing I liked about my buddy was that I remember in first grade, some of the same stories that I didn't like to read back then, I like to read now. And earlier today, Jacqueline didn't want to read a story I wanted to read because it was a first grade story. She said, no, 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 no. So then I, we ended up reading and she ended up liking it. Well, great. At the beginning of the year, I only knew like around two people. And now that I've been in here for as many times as I have, I, learned, I know almost everybody in here. Isn't it nice? This has been a really neat project, hadn't it? Yeah. Working together. Yeah. At Heart Elementary, the first and fifth graders work together as 